So um, I'm actually, I'm very pleased to have you uh, in this call so we can talk about how you managed to break into McKinsey and Company in the Nordics. Um, but uh, first of all, uh, let me of course start with uh, another very, very heartfelt congratulations. Um, Thank this you. Is, uh, this is absolutely a great uh, career step and uh, it's also the reward for a remarkable development uh, throughout the preparation journey, which uh, I could witness, right? So <laughs> congrats to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Siri. And cool. uh, very happy uh, from my side as well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you you did apply as an experienced candidate in uh, the mm -hmm. Stockholm office of McKinsey. So um, since uh, this means you're not exactly a graduate, um, what were at the time uh, your concerns, right? Once you had decided you want to make this, this leap in your career. So what were your concerns? Mm -hmm. What has driven you towards reaching out to us, right? Because after all, yeah. there's a gazillion of free online resources which are available on google and youtube right yeah yeah uh good question so i i yeah I, I was like daring to go into into mckinsey or or strategy consulting but i felt that i was maybe lacking you know some some especially like in the casing part of it you know and and basically the structural thinking part of it i i'm experienced and i've i have confidence in my abilities you know i've been working in, in different industries and, and i think my profile was a good fit for them but mm -hmm. but showcasing it in a structured way and and sort of performing in the interviews was something i was a bit concerned over mm -hmm. uh why i decided to go with program uh, mm -hmm. or or professional help was also something that maybe relates to my personal i don't know uh, my persona in, in the sense of of this is a you know a, pretty hard process or you know it's it's you have to put in the commitment and and for yep. me i'm a fast learner but this is this doesn't take just one week you know or it's really hard to pull it off yes. in one week yeah uh, it's more of a transformation and you have to you have to you know go through the motion and go through the steps and this is a week month uh, long process yep. right a few weeks a few months uh and i didn't fully trust in myself actually either to to do it you know uh, to be committed for that long I'm, I'm working on the side and, and and so that was also why I wanted help and coaching um, mm -hmm. to, to sort of have someone that could guide me and I wouldn't be wasting my time uh, yep. either um, for, with you I, I think you're doing a good job in the marketing department and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I I was you know a bit of course you see something on online you don't know if you should trust it but then i yep. you you know you look through linkedin you look through pro profiles and you guys looked solid i had a really good discussion with you mm. a few months ago yeah uh, which gave I me remember. a lot of comfort <laughs> yeah a lot of comfort and um and, and i mean we have to feel a sense of honesty and trust and, and i could feel that with you guys and and great track records of course so so yep very happy i i chose cho cho cool to, to <laughs> yes i mean uh led to a good result right <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, i mean as you know uh, most candidates what most candidates are doing is uh, they're approaching cases still um yeah with frameworks in the style mm -hmm. of the very popular books like case in point and and similar resources um uh, this is uh, mm -hmm. what more or less when they google the topic they're being brainwashed mm -hmm. into um yeah. so and what what we did together in the program was was very different from this right we have uh, really established a method to dismantle strategic questions down to the core, right? Using some principles of rigorous problem solving. So um, if you think back, right, um, how did this, um, yeah, freedom from frameworks that we established, how did this then help you in being successful in the actual process with McKinsey? Yeah, good question. Uh, obviously, stepping into, into this, I had no idea how to solve a case. I and I, you know, you you start googling, you start looking, and you find all these resources that you just mentioned. But um, your approach is a bit frustrating in the beginning <laughs> because you you don't have anything you know, really tangible to mm -hmm. to hold on to or lean on to. Um, and I, yeah, the first case was a bit of a mess for me, but I I think it's <laughs> it's. Uh, quite common right um, exactly but... exactly because what you i mean what you experienced here is also and i can tell you this already what you will experience uh, uh in the in the job right whenever yeah. you're going so at the beginning and then also whenever you're going into a new seniority role right because yeah. this is how you feel when you're in the learning curve <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and and I mean, it depends a bit who you're interviewing with, you know, McKinsey being a bit more interviewer led, mm -hmm. uh, they will guide you, but they, that can also, you know, in some, some 
cases, you know, this this our way of thinking or your way of thinking mm-hmm. help you a lot because you yep. aren't stuck in your framework or stuck in the, you know, you start the case. I want to do X, Y, Z, you know, all of it. But they, yep. you know, they they want to guide you this way, and then you've maybe, you know, you you've created this monstrous framework structure that is completely irrelevant to the case, <laughs> you yes. know, and, and so. You know, for McKinsey, yeah, I, I can only speak from experience with with them, uh, yeah. with, with them being my focus. But but um, I could really, really, you know, use the, you know, I could let go, you know, and uh, and help them guide me and be more dy- dynamic. Uh, yes. You know, yes. and and it was it was easier for me to step into the case, right? Because yep. those those are the most important things: aligning yourself with the interviewer, understanding what is after before you start exactly this is this is super important or, or yes this is so. this is this is super important because what you experienced is um that or what rather your interviewer experienced with you is that he was able to then actually see your thinking right and discuss your thinking so you were not shutting him out by building a framework because this is one uh, one of the very lamentable things uh, that i can tell you as a former interviewer um that yeah. when candidates use use frameworks they make it very hard for the interview to find out how does their real thinking work right because they are almost like building this wall exactly exactly and i could feel this same thing and maybe i don't know i i've been practicing with the peers and we'll maybe come into that later but um you know aligning with the interviewer and and because you you can also like shut some doors right you you create this thing and and then you are stuck there and and Mm. If you were stepping away from it, you, you feel uncomfortable because that's what you started off with in the beginning, and that's not where you are supposed to be at all. You know, yeah. and it's it's a you know it's a, it's a good and a bad thing. You know, you you can get yeah in a risky spot doing that <laughs> as well. So uh, exactly, exactly, yeah. cool. But you you just mentioned it, right? Uh, because uh, this is indeed one of the things which is particularly cool uh, in the program. I think <laughs> uh, yeah. that after after we've established uh, the basic principles, then uh, our mentees can practice with each other, right? Um, and um, the thing is that contrary to quote unquote normal candidates out there, um, uh, you then know that you can practice with people who also understand these principles of rigorous problem solving and. Uh, you know, you don't need to spend a lot of time uh, with, uh, yeah, some feedback which doesn't really make sense because it comes from people who are not even understanding the underlying logic, right? So, um, and uh, I know you practiced uh, with several other mentees who were in the program, and and uh, yes. <laughs> uh, several of them uh, have also re- uh, received offers now in in different MBB firms. So, uh, yes. talk a little bit about this. How how helpful was this? This was uh, incredibly helpful. If I'm yeah, that was um, one of the biggest highlights uh, of of the program. If I'm being totally honest, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I practiced with with peers. I think in all time zones. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> from the US to China and Singapore, yeah. and and you know, I could I could step into a, a session any time of day, really. Yeah, uh, and and I think you mentioned a really good point because it's not really about the quantity you you figure that out really fast mm-hmm. uh, the quality of the of the coaching or the you know the trainings is is really important and and yeah you you mentioned some peers and we were actually a three uh, mm-hmm. in in a sort of a, a group Co- that core group that, right <laughs> yeah core group uh, i mean we, i probably practiced with 10 peers or so mm-hmm. but uh, we were three in a core group and all of us received offers and and mm. we could see each other's successes weaknesses and and we could know we we knew you know for, for because we were guided by you and we were yep. following the same path yep. we could in a way more logical and, and constructive way, give each other feedback and, and see, yeah, from each other that it was working, you know, and yeah, yeah and grow, you know, and it, but it's funny because we all experience the same as well in terms of the development. It goes like this, you know, mm-hmm. and then we could see in each other when it starts dropping off a bit because you become confident, yeah, uh, comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, you 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 start doing you know many cases and and that's not always beneficial because then you start you're not as sharp you're not as rigorous yes. and we yes. can see this in each other like okay here no you have to be careful you know and mm-hmm. and then we could reflect on on that so you you follow you follow your peers also in the development curve you know if, yes. if you find someone random out there on facebook or wherever mm-hmm. uh you 
they might be in a totally different spot than you. Yep. And, 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 and the feedback won't reflect at all, I, I yep. feel like. So So this was super helpful. You matched us um, in a logical way, right, where we are mm. in our journey. And, and yep. we could we could yeah give each other you know help and, and support in, in a better yep. uh, way so so yeah very 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 pleased with that amazing amazing yep. so um now um let's talk a little bit about uh, the actual interviews at mckinsey right because uh, very often people are very stressed out when they imagine oh how will these interviews be right mm. so if you think back um how was it for you was it really tough right or did it maybe feel more conversational than than you expected It, yeah, of course, it's it's way easier to say than it is to experience. I, so I, I I felt really stressed stepping into it, and I was really mm -hmm. trying to not <laughs> be stressed. Yeah. But um, the, you know, it's it's a big opportunity. Uh, it's a it's a great company. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, when you care, you you it's very natural to be nervous and stressed. You know, otherwise, it's it's you you know you don't care. It, But but I yeah. I can't there, I can't there's something lot. at stake right <laughs> yeah yeah there's if there's something mm. at stake it's really natural uh, to be nervous and they are completely you know smart people that you know and, and they've been in your shoes before so they know this and and mm. uh, but I stepped into it um, very stressed um, but very quickly uh, it it felt quite natural um, mm -hmm. you start with McKinsey you start on the PI part mm -hmm. with uh with the fit more uh your personal experiences and and yep. that's that's a really good way of settling into the interview you know you you can really go from from yeah your experience you don't have to mm -hmm. you know that's something you can prepare you know for yep. hours and and yep. days and months and uh, and it's it's you can be very confident in that and and they they want you there because of your experience right they you know that's that's something that we can't Uh, disregard there's a yeah. reason for us sitting in that room or yes uh, in front of that person and, and so they they like our experience but you just just have to be able to yeah, tell them about it in, a, in, a, in, a, yes. in the right way and and then you're already in a good spot with the interviewer and and it sort of felt um that in so, some of my interviews that the case was more like uh okay we have to do this here as well mm -hmm. but you know mm -hmm. i still i like you you know but yep. you know yep. and, and yep. they were yep. They were super helpful. All of my interviewers, like you know, really, really helpful. Um, and that's and, a very good point. Yeah, that's a very yeah. good point that you're making, right? Because uh, also something that I sometimes uh, read uh, on the internet when people were writing on blogs, saying like, "Oh, yeah," and uh, just one wrong answer, and then you're you're, you're dinged, right? Things uh, things like that, right? This is not really the case. And again, I can tell you, um, uh, when you are trained as an interviewer at McKinsey, one of the most important things uh, that they push into your brain is you have to be supportive right mm -hmm. please please try to make this candidate uh um successful right if the candidate can show it in the end right yeah But, exactly. um you uh, and and this is uh, this is uh, something uh, that i also want to uh, want everybody to to understand the interviewers will never try to trick you right no exactly and and this is a red thread throughout my journey because i you know i i I applied or, or got the offer to come to an interview in, in April or May and, and then there were some things and some issues in my personal life or whatever mm -hmm. and, and, and and holidays and things and they were you know the whole process you know McKinsey and these companies they want they want to make it as smooth for you as possible they want you to have the best experience yep. they want you to perform so you know i was sick one one uh, for instance one week and then i yep. had to push my interviews and of yep. course this was very easy i mean and i was stressing over these things but mm -hmm. now in the end it seems so silly right because it's <laughs> it's it's completely irrelevant to them you know next week or next month if they yep. if they find a good candidate or find yep. a good colleague uh, this is worth it for them so so they will they will They want you to succeed in the end. And yes. this is something I, I felt throughout my journey. Um, and even <laughs> looking back, I was more, and my peers were more sort of, we were a bit tougher on, on each other <laughs> than, than the interviewer. You know, I, I gave my peers, I, almost all of them, a pretty tricky case. And I, I was mm. a bit of a, yeah, a, a bit tough. Uh, and, and then in the interview, you know, they were, of course, this might depend from, from, from Uh, partner to partner or interviewer to interviewer but you know very yeah. very slow in delivering the prompt and like really really you know if you have anything please ask me 
Yeah. Is there anything unclear? Are you sure you want to continue? You know, trying to yep. give you these small hints. Yeah. Uh, I even at one point, uh, he, he he read it to me like in a you know slow slow way and, and or a math question or something like that. And mm. and I had already thought of how I was going to solve it, and I could see it in my mind. Okay, this is how I'm going to solve it. It's very easy for me. Poof, I I know how I'm going to do it. So I was like, okay, yeah, I can step right into the calculations if you know. And mm. I you know I explained it to him like immediately and and. He, do you want me to step right into it? And he was like, no, just take your time. Yeah. And I took a few more seconds. And then yeah. I, I basically said the, the same thing to him, but he just wanted me to double. Yes. Like, double yes. Because it. exactly. Also from the, uh, and especially if you already have a good, uh, as an interviewer, if you already have a good impression of a candidate, you don't want the candidate to just for such a, you know, little sloppiness to then make, yeah. make, make an error. Right. Exactly. So this is, this is exactly, exactly. Also what, I, what I meant, right? Uh, yeah, they will yeah. try to set the stage so that you can show your ability. Uh, exactly, exactly. And and um, no, I looking back, I I was really, I mean, and in my first round, if I'm being honest again, yeah, uh, I I thought I I completely flunked it. I I thought I did really bad in one of my interviews, but uh, <laughs> that's also something that you can do as a you know human being going through this process you we can become really critical of, of ourselves mm -hmm. and and this was like i i had made something up in my mind you know and then i got the call you know you did really well but there's one thing here you yep. can improve on and yeah and then i did that and and it was fine you know and yeah uh, and and so that's also something that we we can build something up in our minds which uh, which is not maybe true right uh, and, and another thing that i I experienced then I don't want future <laughs> peers or, or people going through the process to experience uh, yes 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 that's a, that uh, that's that that's a very relevant point also yeah. right and also what um, 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 what we also usually tell our mentees is when you go into these interviews right even if you feel oh uh, there was something that was not optimal right still I mean you're so much better prepared than 98 percent of the other yeah. people right so yeah. don't worry right because even if you make one or two or three little mistakes the rest all the rest of the stuff that you did was probably much better than uh what the interviewer saw in the last three months exactly yeah no uh it it, it was it's silly looking back to be this uh <laughs> sad or, or annoyed over over some small small issues so yeah. <laughs> all right no this is this is this is fantastic so yeah. now before we close um mm -hmm. do you have any you know particular learnings or hints uh, which you mm -hmm. would like to share with those who are now just starting in their in their preparation journey right for interviewing with mckinsey or one of the other top firms so mm -hmm. um and who are looking for a success strategy so what would you tell uh, to someone who's coming to you and saying like hey uh how can i you know how can i be successful in this yeah uh <laughs> I, i've been thinking about this so maybe two two main things right mm -hmm. so uh first of all i think the peer the peer network the peer you know the quality versus quantity mm -hmm. you know uh finding someone that you can be really yeah i mean honest with and and critical with without you know anyone becoming annoyed or you know yes. anything like that being completely honest uh and sort of trying to make a, a group of of quality based peer learning uh rather than just boom 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 going everywhere you know yeah so that's 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 a really and we've already talked about that that's a really important thing and, yeah. and second point is um and, and that, that's something i got from you guys uh that, mm -hmm. you know really really important point with which is asking aligning uh, and mm -hmm. being really sure you know what you're doing what you're answering mm -hmm. what you're thinking because it, yeah it's it's not we are not supposed to know everything like it's mm -hmm. impossible for me I, i'm i have my background it's impossible for me to to know everything about you know private equity or mm -hmm. this or that i yeah. know and, and and so it's very it's very easy to to think okay i'm i'm going to look silly or stupid if i ask this mm -hmm. what is this abbreviation i should know this mm -hmm. i uh, how how should i compare you know the investment on, on mm -hmm. a or b you know it's so easy for us to come up with nonsense or yeah, yeah. or ways of solving the case <laughs> that that the interviewer doesn't want uh, you know it, they are there to help you know so so yes. so how uh, 
let them help you and treat, ask the question. Treat them like a client, right? This yeah, is what we yeah. always tell our mentees, exactly. right? Because exactly. you will not go to your client, not align with the client and just do something that you exactly. read in a book or that you heard from someone. No, exactly. you have to talk to your client and you need to say, hey, if we would do it like this, would this make sense to you, right? And this is what you need to treat your interviewer like, because then yeah. if I, as an interviewer, see that you are naturally doing this, then I'm comfortable to have you on my team and put you in front of my client. But exactly. if you're someone who's always afraid to ask questions, who doesn't ask questions and then does some random stuff, then you will be a risk on my team. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Maybe one thing in the end, like a bonus mm -hmm. thing. So uh, I'm an experienced hire, right? So... I was really trying to insert, you know, these grains of of experience into my case so solving uh, examples, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, of course, you you mentioned it in your experience stories, but inserting it into your cases, you know, I yep. think th this would be a good idea since I have done similar in my past, or mm -hmm. you know, I've been I've been working in automotive, and this seems to be yep. the way that it's moving the industry. Yep. Like, so I advise our client to think about X, Y, Z. Yeah. Uh, it, it inserts it. It bridges a bit of a gap, you know. Yes. Especially when you when you are an experienced hire, you can you can put a little bit more into exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Know? You have something that you can yeah. that you can touch upon, right? And then you, but you never position it like, okay, be, be, because I saw it like this, we should no, do it no, like no. this. No, no. You just say, so I could imagine maybe like this because I've seen something similar before. So yeah. what's your thinking about it? Again. Yeah. This, yeah keeping it as a dialogue and this exactly. is what allows the other person to understand how you think and exactly. this is what they want to see right exactly Exactly. Fantastic. Um, well, thank you very much for this great, uh, a great chat. Uh, I think it's very insightful. Um, well, thank congratulations you. again, of course. Um, when <laughs> when you. are you going to start with the firm? I'll start in March. I'll, in I'll March. Start in March. Yeah. And, okay. uh, yeah. I also just want to say thank you to the team. I I think I was in touch with four or five of you uh, in, yeah. in the team, and and all of you had different expertise and different advices to give and i'm very very thankful to have joined the program and and having you guys as as mentors so you're very, very welcome <laughs> all right thank alex you. have a good one cheers thank you thank you